salah or the prayer. This prayer is something that the Muslims do five times a day. Now somebody may say, five times a day, this is a lot. But five times a day, actually, I will explain. The Messenger of Allah, Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, was asked. Or he stated at one point to his companions, if you lived in a house and a river passed in front of the house, and you bathed in the river five times a day, would there be any dirt about you? And the companions all said, no, of course not. There would be no dirt on you. And he said, likewise is the prayer. So when we pray to our Lord five times a day, that which our Lord has enjoined upon us, we are washing ourselves of our sins. And all of the sons of Adam, that means me, that means you, and your wives, daughters, and children, it all means that we all make sin. And this is an opportunity for us to do away with that sin. And now we move on to the third pillar, which is to fast the month of Ramadan. To fast the month of Ramadan. Now, there are many different types of fasts. Some people go on a water fast, meaning they don't eat or drink anything except for water. Some people eat only fruit fast, so they only eat fruits, so they call it fruit fast. But in Islam, it's a little bit different. This fast, which lasts from the crack of dawn until sunset. Now, what takes place during that time? There is no eating, there is no drinking. There are no sexual relations with one's wives or husbands. And of course, there's no lying, cheating, stealing, which is something that the Muslim always strives hard to avoid. But during this illustrious time, he takes extra special care. This time which comes once a year and lasts 29 or 30 days. But somebody may say, well, what does giving up food and drink have to do with my faith? Well, actually, it's not how strong you are, because it's not considered an Islamic fast to go days without food. But the important thing is how obedient you are. To be obedient to the Creator, that you give up this food and drink from the crack of dawn until sunset. Now, I'm just like you. Sometimes when it gets close to sunset, I like to have a sandwich. I like to have a, a little bit of soda and something to drink. But the reality is that our Creator has granted us everything. How could I not give this up for His sake? So this is to fast the month of Ramadan with a quick note. Note that all Muslims worldwide feel some type of hunger during the month of Ramadan. If you are the very rich or you are the very poor, you feel some type of hunger and therefore hopefully it will open and soften your heart to someone who is less fortunate than you and you give them something from out of your wealth. It continues. Now we talk about the zakat. The zakat is a poor due or an alms due, which is due upon the, uh, the person who has the ability or a certain amount of wealth. So they pay this wealth out of their wealth in order to balance out the society a bit. Those who have and those who have not. So this poor due or alms due, which is paid every year, is, can be utilized by the poor, or those who actually distribute the zakat. So the Creator, having mercy, one of His names is Ar-Rahman, the Most Merciful, has mercy on those who He has straightened their means a little bit so that it gives, it goes from the hand of those who have to the hand of those who do not have. So therefore there's a balance in the Islamic society. The fifth pillar is the Hajj, or the pilgrimage. Now I'm pretty sure everybody has seen the Muslims at some point circling around a black box in the desert. That is called the Hajj. And that comes around every year where the Muslims make